Islamic State self-declared caliphate almost completely retaken in Iraq and Syria, U.S. officials are concerned about where the group could try to create its next hub, and Africa may be a likely target. As VOA's Pentagon correspondent Kalabab reports, the U.S. military is trying to prevent Islamic extremists from taking advantage of the African continent's vast and governed space. Poverty, political disillusionment, and masses of young unemployed Muslims. Those are ideal conditions for Islamic extremism, and they are all found in Africa. If we're trying to look in the future, it's, it's actually happening now that Africa is going to be the spot. It's going to be the hot spot. The entire African continent has less than half the number of American troops deployed in Afghanistan. But increases in terrorist activity are among the reasons why the American military presence has grown rapidly on the continent. From 3,200 military personnel in 2009 to about 6,500 today. There is African concern that the U.S. approach is becoming rather more militarized or more concerned with military and security issues than had been the case in the past. John Campbell, who served as ambassador to Nigeria under President George W. Bush, told VOA the main thrust of effort on the continent should be on what he calls the root causes of extremism, lack of economic development and poor governance. But this effort will likely prove more difficult if the State Department's budget is slashed by a third, as forecast in the administration's budget plan. Is, in fact, a security approach going to work? And I would suggest that, by and large, no. U.S. Africa Command, which oversees military activities on the continent, aims to strengthen local African militaries to combat Islamic extremists. Fire, we're ready. Africa's growing young male population is ripe for recruitment. Africa Command's senior enlisted leader told VOA. You have no options, and here comes an extremist that is offering you a motorbike and a bride. What do you think you're going to do? Your family's starving, you can't provide for them, and somebody's giving you an option. The administration this year expanded the authority to strike al-Shabaab and Islamic State fighters in Somalia, allowing offensive strikes against the militants, rather than just strikes defending African allies and their American advisors. It, it definitely helps, because we're doing our best to go ahead and employ our assets to help them out in any way we can. If the security needs grow in coming months, more American troops could find themselves facing dangerous situations across the African continent. Carla Babb, VOA News, the Pentagon. At least 5,500 women and youth in Kano, one of Nigeria's most populous states, have been removed from the statistics of the unemployed, courtesy of Future Assured Foundation, founded by the wife of the president, Aisha Bukhari. The beneficiaries have acquired vocational skills to enable them to start their own businesses. Channel Television's correspondent Idris Jibrin compiled this report. Kanu, Northern Nigeria's commercial nerve center, boasts a huge population of women and youth. As expected in such populous societies, creating jobs is a challenge. In this hall are 5,500 women and youth from the 44 local government areas of the state, here to receive certificates and vocational kits after undergoing vocational training in various areas. The skills acquisition program is organized by Future Assured Foundation, founded by the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, in collaboration with the Kanu state government. The aim of leadership to me is touching the lives of the masses through vocational training programs. This is why I have been traveling to states across the country to ensure that women and youths are trained and empowered, especially at this time of inadequate funds at the disposal of the federal and state governments. The packages include tools required for starting up businesses such as painting, hair salons and barbing, amongst others. We have recorded many success ranging from painting production, rabbitry farming, catfish farming and shoes and bath production, barbing with pedicure and manicure, who are willing to expand their means 
place of livelihood and to continue breeding the younger ones who are willing to venture to, into this vocational scheme for survival. The Kanu State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development speaks of the administration's continuous efforts at reducing the number of unemployed in the state. The leadership of these governments are birds of the same feather, and they flock together. And we all bear witness as to what they do in terms of their programs, in terms of their focus, in terms of their passion for the development of the nation as a whole, and in our case for the development of Kanu State. This is the second time the foundation is partnering with the Kanu State government to train and empower citizens. The program is also being replicated in other states in the region to tackle unemployment and reverse some of the impacts of violent conflict. It's time now for a short break as we remind you to visit our website, channelstv.com, for news and programming around the clock. You can also find us on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Still to come, African migrants stuck in Libya face hardship, torture and even slave trade. The United Nations aims to repatriate up to 10,000 migrants from Libya this year. That story after the break.